Welcome to Chewing the Cud. Like your favourite healthcare worker, we are doing a house visit to bring you your weekly dose of showbiz scandal, an enema of fun stories from the internet, and a placebo prescription that might make you feel better for a short time, but will do you no good in the long run. It's our life lesson. But before we drop trow and cough, and I hope he's warmed his hands, let's talk to the handful that is Lee. A handful is always just enough. Give your kids a treat. <laughs> That's a finger of fudge, isn't it? Yeah, it is that, yeah. That's something different. Yeah. Anything more than a handful is a waste, I was always told. That's, yeah. Yeah. I'm back with some showbiz news, including a sad story about a celebrity pet. Oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah. Squish, squish, squish. Yes. Yeah. And I've got some stories from the internet, included but not limited to an almighty cake off. You can still find us while tossing a salad. Just search for at the Cud TV on your social media. Don't forget our website is thecud.tv. And if you want to listen to us, have a search for Chewing the Cud on your podcast service or watch us on YouTube, where you can also subscribe just by pressing the bell. And if you have commented, shared or clicked like on one of our social media platforms, then your name could be sliding along the screen. That way. Mike. Building on last week's exploration of the Visigoth invasion of Andalusia and the influence of Moorish design on Mediterranean architecture of the 16th century and taking into account the undeniable upheaval of Spanish society following the Conquistador Revolution which occurred in the culmination of the Basque uprising and remembering that there was an old man from Harrow who tried to have sex with a sparrow. The sparrow said, no, you can't have a go as the hole in my is too narrow. And did you know that Mary had a little pig? She couldn't stop it grunting. She took it down to the garden path and kicked his <laughs> But can you explain why did Mary only have one little lamb? She must have just enjoyed the lamb chop. Oh, I, I worry about you. How about when I say, Bear, don't eat me, Mary. <laughs> Why do you have a cow noise? <laughs> the producer can't be with us today, as he stopped on his jog along the riverbank to give a local fisherman a hand. But when the fisherman showed him his tackle, sadly he only produced a little maggot. <coughs> Never to let a chance go to waste though, he's still there now. The fisherman's rod in hand, and even though he's only got a tiddler, the producer is content to give it a kiss and release it to the river. And while that's happening, let's play... Game of the Week. Lee, it's your turn this week, and the producer has decided he wants to see more, yes, more, of your acting talents in the Gobby Game Show. So, off you scamper, away to our state-of-the-art sound booth. Go on, shoo, shoo. Body face, hurry up. I'm doing it. Lee is renowned for his diverse and memorable impressions, and so all he has to do is convey to me a character supplied to him by a random topic generator. Are you ready? Let's just do a vocal warm-up exercise. I shall, I shall insert the implement. Insert your device. Betty bought a bit of butter. Betty bought a bit of butter. But she said my butter's bitter. But she said my butter's bitter. If I put it in my batter, if I put it in the latter... It will make my batter bitter. It will make the latter bitter. There we go. First one. OK. Here I go turn on town. Oh, oh share. Yeah. Instantly with a ho oh, oh, oh. <laughs> No idea what you did before that. Ah, oh, I sang, sang, sang. You sang? Uh, OK. Um, uh, can you hear the lamb screaming, please? Can you? I ate his face with high greens and a high candy. 
It's Silence of the Lambs, I'm assuming. Yeah. So... Well, he's a, which one is it, isn't it? Which one is it? <laughs> it's his, his character. Buffalo Bill. No. No. No, the lotion. Not, not the lotion. Takes the lotion from the basket and it on his skin. Oh, right. Not him. So it's, um, it's what's his face? Hannibal Lecter? Yes. Well, <laughs> have you just orgasmed? You're looking right, Sam. Oh, it's a Lulu. Oh, Lulu. Yeah. All oh, right, okay. Whew. I'm kind of good. That's kind of good. Nice, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's move on. Uh, mm. uh, My ex. No. Uh. I could try to do. Uh, this is long and hot, Sorry. Is this London Hotspur? <laughs> that's all I know. So I'm hearing Live Long and Prosper. Yeah, no, thingy thing. That's, that's rock and roll. Yeah, is it? <laughs> yeah. How do they do, do the sock thing? <laughs> oh, said it. Oh. Uh, I, 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 I can't get that one, cos... Yeah. Is that, it that? That. Yeah. Uh, OK. So it was Spock? Yeah. To the Spock thing. Yeah. Uh, 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 okay, he's dead. All right. So do an impression. Uh, right. When he was alive, uh -huh. he'd be like... Gene Simmons. Uh, oh, rain. Oh, rain. Oh, okay, not Gene Simmons then. <laughs> not Gene Simmons. No. Um, uh, the artist. Mm -mm. Pre-artist. Pre-the art, so Prince. Yes. Didn't he die when he was just a symbol? Yeah, no, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay. R2D2. Oh, no. No, it's not that one. Hang on. Right, so it's not R2D2. No, it's the other one. It's the other one. <laughs> so C3PO. Yeah, there you go. Who, who talks like a, a very posh British person. Hello. Hello. Hello, Hello, Luke. Oh, no. Oh, I'm oh, not your father. Yeah. Is that London? No. Um, uh, uh, um, I didn't really watch it, so I don't really know what he did. Okay. I can sing the theme tune. Okay, do the theme tune. <laughs> You're in a very silly way. I think that, I'm not sure if he did that. I have no idea what's going on right now. <laughs> you see, if I sing the words, then you'll know what it is. Oh, OK. I sing the words, cos you've already told me the answer to one of them. Oh, you did not do the theme tune any theme justice. Is that not it, though? Did that not... Do, 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 Yeah, that's... But the theme tune you did, I have no idea. I was thinking the liver birds for one point. In the in the one where it was in... They've all got the same... Elizabethan times. Yeah, There was a ram that sang... At the end, but to the... to the. All right, all right. OK, next one. Um... Uh, 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 no New Year's Day to celebrate. <laughs> I don't know if that's appropriate. It's so Stevie Wonder then. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, okay. Uh, uh -huh. There's a lot of you just having an orgasm. No, no. I got to try to too. <laughs> What is that? Oh, hi, hi. No. Uh, 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 Died on the toilet eating a sandwich. Oh, oh, Elvis. Yeah. Should we have have last one then? Oh, no. Okay. I'm doing quite well this week. <laughs> This is you after you've just gone up the stairs. <laughs> yeah, but it's also a character. Um, uh, I am your father. 
You're not my daddy. <sighs> yeah? You're not my daddy. Da, 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 da. <laughs> you know it, you're just making it do it. <laughs> Darth Vader? Yes! But, but part of the Imperial March that started midway through a bar. <laughs> <laughs> Is that not how it goes? It starts. You know, you got it. Yeah. How many did you get? I did. I made it again. get. How many did I get? Hello. I can just get snore. I'm just getting snoring. Ah, uh, oh dear. Still to come, we have our life lesson. But just after the break, it's Lee with the showbiz news. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now we go to the man whose hobby is collecting indecent images of soap stars, or is that soapy images of indecent stars? It's Lee and the Showbiz News. Do you know what my, my old granny used to say? Put it down or it'll fall off. Not that. She used to say, it's better to have hope in your soul than soap in your hole. Okay. Well, that's just a tip I was sharing with you. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Like obviously a granny that douched. Don't say things like that about my family. <laughs> okay, let's do some showbiz news. Do you like a, do you like a statue? I do like a statue. Do you? Yes. Any particular kind? <laughs> I like the, the, the statuesque kind. Statue-esque kind. Yes. Oh, okay. I, I, I like an ancient statue. <laughs> an ancient statue? Yeah. He's kind of ancient. So, um, the group Queen... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Freddie Mercury has, is no longer with us. He's been dead for a long time. He's been dead for a long time. Yeah. Um, but there is a statue of him that's been knocking around um, for a while. <laughs> knocking so, around. Yeah, so you know the music, the musical We Will Rock You? I'm aware of its Okay. Work. Well, in London, where they had the... Um, show was a huge giant statue, gold statue of Freddie Mercury on the front of the theatre. Okay. okay. Yeah. So the drummer out of Queen, Roger Taylor, mm -hmm. is having a makeover of his garden. Right. So okay. the, not himself. Then. Not, of, not of himself. So th this is Queen back in their heyday. Okay. So Freddie Making Mercury at the front. Yes. John Taylor, I think he's the one next to Freddie Mercury in the blue shirt okay. and then there's the one with the curly hair and then there's the one with another curly hair. <laughs> Brian May. Brian May? Brian May. I don't know who the other one is. Do you know who he is? Okay, no. No. Anyway, um, so, th so this is Roger Taylor now, who he, who he is now. Right. Okay. So the, he's decided that in his kind of big flash house, mm. he's going to have this giant statue of Freddie Mercury. Okay. So he's, he has put it there previously in his rockery. Oh, but he's got to enjoy a rockery. He's got to enjoy a rockery, but the council, he didn't get permission for it, so the council said, you've got to take it down. Take it down! How big is this statue? It is. Uh, we've got a picture of it here. So it's not It's not a little statue. It's massive. I'm not quite sure how, how massive it is, but it's massive. Okay. It's, <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that metric massive? Yeah, very massive. Right, very it's not massive. like, oh. it's not... It's not life size, it's bigger than life size. Bigger than life size, right, okay. Yeah, so it's That's big. what I was thinking about, because I was yeah. thinking if you've got a council coming around going, you can't stand in your garden, you're too tall, take it down. It, so it wasn't, it's not garden gnome size. Okay. Because nobody would be bothered by that. It's, <laughs> it's giant. It's garden, no. um, so yeah, he's, he's going to have a, a pool house, a bar and a jacuzzi, mm -hmm. and then... Inside the statue? No, oh, okay. it's not that big. Oh, right, okay. um, <laughs> in his garden, right. in his jardin, um, and then Freddie Mercury statue is going to be overlooking the terrace and oh. the garden. Um, he said. He said. So basically, it was in a warehouse, and he had. To, they had to pay money to keep it in a mm -hmm. warehouse. So he said, you know, why don't I just put it on a lorry, drive it to my house, put it in the garden. I thought it would be really funny to have it there in your garden, and I think that Freddie would have thought it was hilarious. Okay, yeah. yeah. Such japes, these rock Such stars these these days. I hope they kind of cement it in properly, because you don't want to be in your bubbly jacuzzi, <laughs> and all of a sudden Freddie Mercury's face, Mercury's face bears down on you. <laughs> well, maybe you do. Maybe you do. Who who can say? Mm. Okay, so from the from the kind of slightly ridiculous <laughs> of people having giant, <laughs> giant statues of ex-band members in the gardens, yeah. to 
Oh, so, so celebrities, they like a pet, don't they? You can't open a magazine or, or see a television a program without a tiny dog or a cat or <laughs> a budgie. <laughs> <laughs> you do see a lot of celebrities yeah, going down the do. red carpet with a budgie. Yeah. In a, um, in a basket. Yeah, a little cage. Um, they love them. And they get very sad when they die. Ooh, squish, squish. Now, do you remember um, a contestant from the, from the um, Apprentice called Louisa Zussman? Surprisingly, no. You don't remember? No. Her? Okay, she was a bit. She was a bit of a salt on on the celebrity. She was a salt. She was a bit bit kind of kind of forthright and quite. You know, she knew what she wanted. Okay. Um, I don't think she won. I think she kind of made it to the anyway. So she. She, so we've got a picture here of her with her horse. Okay. Now. What's it called? Gonna be glue. No. He's the, the horse. Crispy pancake. <laughs> is called Maduro. He oh. was called oh. Madrono, was. actually. He was. So he died. Oh, no. Very, very sadly, he died in 2019. So two years ago. So two years ago. Um, he, he, so he died. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. so when you were saying it, it sounded like he had just died. No. 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 So, so she was very, ago. very, very sad when he died because yeah. he was a favourite pet, very, very expensive, mm -hmm. a white stallion, blah, blah, blah. So she didn't want, she didn't want to let go, Mike. She okay. still wanted, she still wanted to be reminded. So... She had him chopped up and put into frozen foods. No, she had him stuffed. Oh, okay. So this, this recently, so here he is. <laughs> Um, after he's been recreated. So she must have kept him in the freezer for two years. How big a freezer she got? <laughs> Perhaps it was a, 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 a reunited. Reunited. I don't, uh, yeah, it's a bit. So she, she thought to herself, she said <laughs> that, that she knows it's not a normal thing to do. Well, that's good. Okay. Well, she's aware. But she just couldn't be without him. So she, she, <laughs> she had him stuffed. She said the minute that she saw it again, mm -hmm. it was like he'd never been away. And the, the <laughs> perfect, kind eyes that are exactly the same. Now, they're not exactly the same, because <laughs> they're glass. Because <laughs> I don't think they can re they, you can keep they eyes. Can't keep eyes. They, no. they kind of go a bit flat. Yeah, my understanding is that they kind of like skin it, make a horse shape. Yeah, fill it with sand. And then stick it all back on. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, she... she has placed it, he's a pride of place, in the entrance hall of her house. How big's her house? Well, yeah, she must have a bit of a coin. She must have, she must have a, a few pens. Um, yeah, so, so she's like, so she said, you really have made me so happy. Um, I, so, uh, now, I would be, the question I wanted to know is, is it strong enough that you can sit on it? Now it's that question before. <laughs> That's the first opening line to any date that I have. Yeah. <laughs> Just when I put it out there, yeah. is it strong enough that I can sit on it? Um, yeah, I, I, it's it's a bizarre thing. It's it's a, it's a choice. It's a choice, and it would have been cheap because that's a big animal. <laughs> that's a lot of sand. It's not a hamster. <laughs> <laughs> look at it there. But look behind. Look at look. There's an elephant behind it. <laughs> so who stuffed a caveman? A caveman? Yeah. Uh, the, I'm going to say rear access port of the horse. Yes. If you look, there's a caveman. <laughs> <laughs> there is. <laughs> it's taxidermied. It's big to that. I'm taxidermied. I have no idea, but that is a very good question. Is that not actually the taxidermer? Perhaps it's him. Dermist. Dermist. Yeah. Taxidermist. <laughs> taxidermer. Right, OK, yeah. Well, that's another question to ask. Where did, where did that come from? Yeah. Would you uh, would you would you stuff anything? <laughs> if you had a, like a pet that you really loved, no, 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 no. I what I personally want to be taxidermied myself. I, I know you do. When I die, yeah, we're not doing it. Uh, but uh, and and people will have to to. We're not doing it. You, you, it's going to happen. You, you say that, but you won't know. <laughs> I will. <laughs> You'll be I, dead. No, I will. I'll know from above, and I will. I will haunt. What makes you, you think you're going up? Well. <laughs> It's a foregone conclusion. Ah. So, yeah. From stuffed horses, giant statues of dead celebrities, we're, mo we're moving on to, to drag queens. Because that's a natural progression, it's a natural I feel. Progression. Things um, that are dead inside and need to get <laughs> stuffed. Hey! <laughs> um, what... Do you have, like, a particular favourite 
of all the drag queens that have been on RuPaul's Drag Race over the years? Pandora Box. Okay. Well, it's not about her. <laughs> so we're, go <laughs> we're going to talk about Alyssa Edwards. Oh yeah. I like Alyssa Edwards. Yeah. We've got we've got a very glamorous. She's one of the one Back of the rolls. <laughs> <laughs> She's one of the queens that I think looks better as a queen than she does as a boy. A little bit ratty as a boy. <laughs> We've got a, bit, a little bit ratty, a little, little bit rat ratty. based. Yeah. Um, anyway. <laughs> it, does. it looks like he's going to be rummaging through your bins for a biscuit. Oh, that's a bit harsh. Anyway, she is heading to London to do her first ever West End show this very summer. That's exciting. Isn't it? I've it's... never wanted a lock, another lockdown more. <laughs> I'd be interested in that. That sounds quite interesting. It's called Alyssa Memoirs of a Queen. Memoirs of a Queen. Okay, so, okay. so it's not about her at all then? No, it's all about her. But why would you not? If you're going to do a show, you do it all about yourself. Have you seen Alyssa Edwards act in anything? Yeah, it's dreadful. But she's funny. Awful. Yeah, but it's funny. So it's an autobiographical show. Okay. All about her like life and her iconic look and kind of all that kind of stuff. So it's only on for a week okay. in summer, just a kind of like a taster to kind of see what people think with the expectation that it will be announced to do like a, a countrywide oh. um, thing. Tour. Tour. Yeah, Tour. thing. That's, what, that's it, isn't it? Tour, yeah. Tour, yeah. Um, so yeah, so that is coming out. And so obviously she'll be tested and all that kind of stuff for the Rona. Right, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Don't um, start there going, right, what's the square root of four? Go! No, why don't do that? And, um, yeah, so, yeah, go go and see it. There'll be, apparently there'll be ten costume changes, at least. I'm not surprised. That's a lot of costume That's changes. That's probably the show. Oh. Well, thank you for that, Lee. Coming soon, we have the next of our life lessons. But before that, we have Mike with the buzz. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now, as surely as the sun comes up and the sun goes down and the seasons change, it's time to go over to Mike for an abandoned dilly update. I don't always mention dillies. Usually there's some discarded sex toy story or... Oh, no, it's not sex toys, yeah, it's not just dillies. Um, but I have been having a hunt around the internet, that was hunt, um, to find some light-hearted stories. Jolly good. Jolly, jolly japes. Jolly japes. Jolly japes. Um, now the first one is about, a, a, tragically, a woman is having to sell her £450,000 home, her <sighs> dream home. Why, Mike? Why? Why? Because she can see her neighbour's toilet from her kitchen. Okay. So while, while she's eating and, and enjoying life, she can see directly into her neighbour's bathroom. Okay, why don't you just ask them to... Put a blind up? Yeah. Or put some blinds up herself? Oh, but yeah. yeah. No, 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 that wouldn't solve her situation. She needs to sell her dream home. Oh, dear. The neighbours have basically said, well, we think we'd need a pair of binoculars to have a look in because oh. there's quite a lot of garden. But she's saying, no, I can see quite clearly when you're having a shower and I'm tucking into a fromage fray. <laughs> Don't know if she eats oh, is that, is that what is that what ladies eat? <laughs> I don't know. From our phrase. I was assuming that they eat yogurt. Oh, for a little bit. Okay. All right. But from from one lady that's saying, I'm um, you know, I'm gonna have to sell my dream home, to another woman that's saying, I live here and I'm staying here. Is that the woman opposite? The woman opposite, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's having a shower, listen to me. I've got yeah. RBS, I'm staying here. <laughs> <laughs> I've got no choice. <laughs> um, I'm staying here. No, it's a woman um, who's saying that she is not stupid for complaining when she's moved next to the A446 and is complaining about the noise. Well, who would have thought? Who would have thought a woman who's moved next to a busy A road um, is, is busy? You were just expecting the sound of birds tweeting. Exactly, the occasional bus yeah. and child on bicycle. Yeah. Yes. No, yeah. yeah. Um, but when she, she bought the 350,000 new build dream home, um, she only went to look at the house when it was relatively quiet on the road. Oh, OK. She didn't know it was going to get busy during rush hour. Yeah, there's even a truck behind her on the yeah. like, <laughs> Perhaps it's... she turned around and went, Whoa! <laughs> exactly, completely shocked. <laughs> that wasn't there in the viewing. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, bless. But, yeah. So, so two ladies that are both not happy with their homes. 
Patsy could swap these. They could swap these. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like it quietly, but like to wheel to watch someone poo? I would prefer it quietly and watching somebody poo. You, you to it, be noisy. A quiet poo rather than a, <laughs> than a loud well, watch. Well, you know, it, it, you know, everybody everybody defecates in their own way. Uh, who am I to say stop shouting? Get it out! I don't want to. Yeah, yeah. Shall we move on? Yeah, please. Okay, and a non-house related one. Oh, great. So a new purchase that you can buy. Oh. Specifically for your cock. Because, yes, you can now buy T-Rex arms for your chicken. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's unique, isn't it? <laughs> you see, I think this is brilliant. So, uh, uh, what happens? What happens is you buy these tiny little arms and put them on, chicken. Put them on a chicken. That's it. <laughs> That's it. That That's is the, the depth of the story. Oh, Nick. okay. You they can now they, buy they just... <laughs> arms for a chicken. They don't serve a purpose. They, uh, they're they just little arms. Just little arms. <laughs> so that when a chicken's running round. Oh, right, okay. Looks a little like a... Right, okay, I'm with you. Yeah, it's got little arms. Oh, right, okay. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, they're... they're um, printed on demand, they're, um, la they're, what's it called? Lasered. 3D printed. Yeah. Um, so they say, expect between one and two weeks for them to come through. Okay. But you can have as many pairs as you want. Oh, right, okay. And they'll do different colours. And, and is there a cost involvement? Huh? So yes, the, the price is ridiculous at $35. For one pair of T-Rex arms? pair of T-Rex arms for well, chicken. Well, I'm afraid they, they, can, they can do one. They can do one. They can do <laughs> one. I'll, I'll dismember a toy and stick them on myself. You don't own a chicken. I don't. That's the, <laughs> that's the, that's the, that's the, that's the, the downfall of that plan. Yeah. I see, I know someone that owns chickens. Do you? I'm thinking of buying some and just putting them on their chickens for when they go out in the morning. Oh, I'm sure. How freaky would that be? I'm going to collect the eggs. There's still this chicken with arms. Yeah. I, I, I actually have seen a clip of... The, them running out of the thing, they're like, mm, mm, mm. It's cute. It's quite cute, yeah. 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 Anyway, if you want to send us something, and no Gary from Glasgow, that's not what we asked for, but keep sending it anyway. Just look for at the Cud TV on your ever present social media platforms. Now that brings us nicely to the story of the week. Oh. Okay. Are you ready for some telly magic? As ready as I'll ever be, Mike. Okay. Magic. <gasps> oh, telly magic! Oh, it is, Mike. It is. Yes. Um, so we we have got some some little things here because guess what we're going to be talking about? Docking. Docking. Correct. Um, no, this is the news that M and S are suing Aldi over a caterpillar cake. Oh. So not to be outdone. Yeah. While M and S are busy suing Aldi over Cuff, but the. The caterpillar. Oh. Yeah. I thought we'd do our own chewing the cud caterpillar cakes because oh. that's more illiterate than Cuthbert. Yes, it is. Chewing the cud caterpillar cake. Yeah, it has. It has. It rolls off the tongue. It does indeed. Yes. Yeah. So you have some some lovely accoutrement. I do. Yeah. You've got some icing. What icing have you got? I've got um, unicorn. You got unicorn flavour, and I've got llama flavoured. Oh, llama flavoured. Llama flavoured. Yeah. Why not? So yeah. So while we talk about this, we can we can prepare our. We'll just decorate it however we'll we, what we choose. Decorate our, our cats. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. So they're they're busy suing um, Aldi. It's, this the... knife is exceptionally <laughs> robust <laughs> for for this. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. Al Aldi busy suing. No, I mean they're busy suing Aldi um, over cuff, but the caterpillar because they're saying that it's too similar to their. Caterpillar cake. But there are like a billion. Every a billion, supermarket. Every supermarket has their own version of it. They do indeed, yeah. Um, but Aldi's social media team, second to none. Okay. Yeah, straight away started going on, on about it. So we've got some tweets here where they've said um, they've updated the packing for the same free Cuthbert. Oh, okay. And they've drawn some um, bars on there. You know, isn't kind of sort of supermarket kind of policies that... They will do versions of other things. Of other things. Yeah, that... Aldi's renowned for it. Yeah. Yeah, they do their own versions of their own of other people's stuff. But yeah, it's. I just think it's it's a bit silly. I would imagine that it's, this knife is this knife is dreadful, Mike. Mm. Um, I would imagine that the 
Aldi one is cheaper. It is cheaper. Oh. And that's the thing. m is saying that, you know, it's it's cheaper and it's infringing our quality because people think it's the same quality as an m one and it won't be. And is it not the same quality? Well, it's a, it's a Swiss rock covered in icing. It's not rocket science. Um, but more from more from their Aldi Twitter team. Okay. As they, they, they showed us this lovely courtroom picture, um, live from inside the courtroom, which is a... <laughs> A caterpillar cake in the dock. I remember back in the day, mm. my mother would make a caterpillar cake for my birthday. Really? She was never sued. She was never sued? No. Well, to be fair, I mean, there's there's lots and lots of caterpillar cakes out there. Yeah. There are. I mean, Morrison's have got their one. They all um, have different which, names, don't they? Yeah, um, which is called um, Morris. Morris. Oh, for Morrison's. Yeah, for Morrison's. And they basically said, day two and they still suspect nothing. And they've put glasses on it, on theirs. Oh, okay. So did you have a caterpillar cake when you were a child then? I probably did at one point. Yeah. A hedgehog cake. A hedgehog cake? Yeah. No, that's advanced. Yeah, that was that had like um, chocolate fingers for its... For its spikes? Yeah. Okay. Did you just eat the spikes? No, I, <laughs> I made the whole thing, Mike. <laughs> right. Ali continued to go on about, this is not just any court case, this is hashtag free cuff, but oh. they really got that hashtag going there. Do you think they are genuinely angry, or is it all... Um... I think that m &S are genuinely suing um, really? Aldi. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aldi even tweeted, look, look, let's end the feuding, let's do a charity thing. Okay. And put all the Caterpillar cakes together to work for charity. Mm-hmm. m &S came back to them and went, hey, Aldi UK. We love a charity idea. Colin's been a big fundraiser for years. We just want you to use your own character. How about hashtag Kevin the Carrot Cake? That idea's on us, and we promise we won't do Keith. Oh. Yeah, it's like, just, just get along. There's plenty of room everywhere for There's plenty of for room the in the world Yeah. for, for, for yeah. cakes. But now, let's, shall, shall we show our, our caterpillar cakes? Yeah. So what have you called your caterpillar? Jizzy. Jizzy? Yeah. You've done Jizzy the caterpillar. Yeah, look, because if you can see... Oh, you've made a giant penis. <laughs> Are you going to eat it now? It's got blue balls. <laughs> Lockdown's so been hard for everybody. <laughs> yeah. Um, and if I turn it around that way, got a little bit of pre-cum. Oh, lovely. It's coming out of its slit. That's totally on brand. That is on brand. I have actually made a caterpillar there. Oh, <laughs> um, exactly. Uncharacteristically. With eyes, nose, and mouth. Little feet. Yeah, that's really Little Little feet. But at least it's a caterpillar. I prefer mine. You prefer the massive, the 12 inch penis. <laughs> I do indeed. Yes. I can't wait to get my hands on its balls. Great. But well, that's all from the buzz this week. Well, thanks, Mike. I can't wait to chow down on my cake. Well, stay tuned, because after this comes our life lesson. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now we thrust ourselves into this week's... Life. Lessons. Now, Mike, mm -hmm. do you think that there is anything left that we have not done in life lesson? Well, there's yet to, to do animal husbandry. That's next week. That's next week. Okay. So this week, we're, we're again sent in from another lovely viewer. They see stuff. Uh -huh. They send it to us. We do it. Yes. <laughs> That's what happens. We're Within reason. <laughs> Within reason, yeah. Um, we're gonna make a we're gonna make a we're gonna make a glow bug. Okay. With just everyday crap. <laughs> okay, you see I, I had a, a glow worm as a child. A real one? Yeah, you know the little toy ones. Oh, that you hold into the tummies and uh, it, it lit and up. It lit up, yeah. Okay. So this is all kind of nostalgia. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Well, this one, you can shove up your bum. Oh, look. So, you know, win-win. Um, so, um, first of all, what what, what, what um, colour of, of, of egg would you like? So, we've got yellow, pink, orange, blue, or green. I think I would like a pink one. A pink one. 
Okay, dokie. Now don't separate the two halves. They need okay. to stay together. They need to stay together. They need to stay together. Okay, I'm gonna go for blue, because I'm a boy. Um, Did you know that blue wasn't originally the boy color? Pink was. Was it? Yeah, yeah. Because um, pink is the the lighter version of red, which is the masculine color. Wow, that is so interesting. Yeah, gender. It's all just a bunch of made up rules. <laughs> okay. So you've got your you've got your egg. Got my love okay. egg. Got your love egg. You need you you should have a little um, tea light, a battery operated one, not a real one, because that will melt the plastic. Right. Okay. I was gonna say the the, the candle won't melt, well it will, but. Yeah. Now, for the we'll, we'll I would turn it on because once we've made it, it'll be a bit of a faff to to. What are you doing? Stroke it. Turn it on. Ooh. I'm here all week I, because they won't let me out. Anybody wants to go fund me for the euthanasia clinic? I'm up for it. So, turn your ca turn your candle on with the button so it so yeah. it's a flame. It is a flame. It's a flame. Place it inside your your egg. Okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to work out which way. So you can decide. Now, that's going to be like a bug shape. So the roundy bit there, mm -hmm. that's its face. And that's going to be its... Um... Thorax. Ooh. Ooh. Um, so she you... was in Last of Summer Wine. Thorax okay. heard. So you kind of... <laughs> Seriously, 10 quid is all it takes. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you euthanizing? Me or you? <laughs> Me. All right, okay, that's fine. I can't take it anymore. Um, so <laughs> put it with, with the little flickery bit, and then you're going to close it. Uh-huh. Snap it short. Yep, done that. Okay, so now we're going to decorate it. Okay. Okay, so you have a variety of um, accoutrements in front of you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think we're going to start with antenna. Okay. So you can choose whatever colour pipe cleaner you want for okay. its antenna, which is going to go on its head. I'm going for sparkles. I'm going for sparkles too. Oh. I'm going for blue sparkles. So you get, get your... Um, Sparkle bit, uh -huh. fold it in half, so it's like a V. Okay. Yeah, and then bend the tips over. Oh, bent tips. Bent tips to create like little antennae things, yeah? Yeah. Uh -huh. Then take some of your glue. It's a very strong glue, so be very careful. Don't sniff it. Ah, it's leaking. Don't, um... You've given me excited glue. You need quite strong glue. So you stick it on the top. You might have to hold it for a second or two to uh, adhere. Are you having trouble? I'm having trouble. Are you having um, yeah. coordination trouble? I'm having blue base nightmares. Right. So that the so that's your antenna. Antenna. Uh huh. And now you're going to do legs. Okay. Um, now again, choose whatever colours you want for your legs. Okay. I'm going for pink. And then you fold, again, fold them over in half. Yeah? Okay, fold them And then half. bend them slightly more than you did the antenna. And then reverse it. Flip reverse it, as Blazing Squad once said. Yeah, and that is, that's, a, that's legs. Oh, okay. That's a legs, Mike. Legs. Um, and then you're gonna glue them to the side of the bug. So you want two of those. Right, okay. So, yeah. So, okay, right. I'm not a fan of this glue, Lee. Why not, Mike? It's dripping everywhere. Oh, just, you've got to very gently squeeze it, I'm not Mike. squeezing it, it's, it's just leaking out. Mm. Got a leaky end. Sad times. Um, so, once you've, you've got your legs on. Yeah. Okay. Um, we're going to go to wings. Okay, I've got, I've got... Yeah. I've got two left wings. Yeah, sounds about that. Um, mine, mine are fine. So, um, oh, well, as long as you're all right. <laughs> uh, on the not shiny side, put some glue on. Okay. And glue them to where you think wings would be. Oh, poop on a on a bug. The glue mm -hmm. is a bit. It, the glue. Turn it around oh. so they can see the wings. Let me turn it around. Oh, oh, everything's fallen off it now. You have to kind of hold it for the glue to set. It doesn't make good. This makes good telly. Doesn't make what good you telly. Doing that, this, week's life, this week's life lesson. We're holding things till they holding set. Holding things till they set. Yeah. 
Yeah, I should have done a blue Peter, shouldn't I? And I prepared one earlier. And got someone else to do it early, you mean? Yeah. yeah. You don't think Valerie Singleton actually did it no. herself, did you? Yeah, I didn't care enough. No. To do, to, <laughs> no, just Valerie Singleton. <laughs> so, yeah, She's once you've got alive. your wings on, my leg's fallen off the other side. Oh, it's the wrong way around. Um, you should have some googly eyes. Now, we, we always have to say that a little bit quieter because... The gallery do enjoy googly eyes. They do enjoy a googly eye. The producer eye. and googly eyes. Yeah. yeah. It's like catnip, isn't it? Well. Oh. Oh, look, they're there, look. There he is. The stroking. Pop your eyes on. Oh, what a friendly face. Okay. Okay. Um, you should have Good a sharpie. Eyes. I have I have a pen. Yeah, and give it a little mare. Smiley mouth. A smiley mouth? I think mine would be sad. Okay, well, whatever mood yours is in. And then, to kind of just finish it off, mm -hmm. as if it, you know, wasn't as be you know, beautiful enough. Are you asking me to finish off something that you've already said to put up by? Yeah, that I am. Okay. You've got some self-adhesive gems there, Mike. Oh, so I have. You have. You don't need glue for that, Mike. Oh, good. You just stick them randomly wherever you would like on your... Bug. Oh. You said stick them randomly wherever I would yeah. like. Yeah, okay. Well, you know, if, if that, you know, I'm, it, it, if you're a child, it's not, I'm not going to, you know, quash your creative experience. Okay. But, a creative experience. Um, oh. what, what's your problem, Lee? They, they detach from the sticky back. Uh huh. They do, because otherwise you can't no, stick them the, on No, and that remains on the thing. Okay. Yeah. So wherever you were, randomly wherever. Yeah, Mike, you do. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give mine like. Cheeks. I'm done. You're done. Is that I'm it? Done. That's all I'm doing. You're not happy. You, you know. Okay, let me just put a stick on. Stick on right. So, we have created. A mess. A beautiful. Glow bug. But does it glow though, Mike? How can how can we possibly tell if it glows? You want to get into the dark again, don't you? Shall we ask them? Right. Can I get um, a alarm and the lights brought down, please? He wants to be in the dark. It worries me. Oh. Hello. I'm they, disappointed. They do work. They do. Yeah. But why, Lee? <laughs> Let's why, get Dave back on. But yeah. Why do we do any of this, Mike? <laughs> but sometimes they have uses. This is just pretty. Pretty something. Imagine if you made like 12 or so of those and put them all around your little garden. Your little garden. Little your, garden. Your little garden. Little garden, yeah. And, and as the sun set, the batteries will be dead. <laughs> <laughs> be beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Next week, I'm going to go for home enema. So, you know, mix it up. Thanks for that. That brings us to the end of this week's show. We've got just enough time to say, find us on your social media platforms. Look for The Could TV. And our website is thecud.tv. While you're there, have a look at our support section for extra content, including outtakes. Thank you for watching, and we will see you again next week. Bye. Bye.